What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with uh, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I know, I'm playing something other than Baldur's Gate. Isn't it surprising? <laughs> I've still got, like, just over the last couple days, I've been using that to decompress while I've been finishing up schoolwork. I think I've recorded up to like part 51 of that series. Oh boy. Shit has been nuts on my end lately. But uh, yesterday I finished my last... Um, Actual anal like program analysis um, assignments. So all I have to do today is some quizzes and prep work for my certification exam on Monday. And after that, I am done, done until January. Well, I say done, done. Yet I'm still going to be working on some. Working on some stuff, i.e. I've got a Raspberry Pi that my school uh, rented out to me, so I'm going to be messing around with that. I'm going to be messing around with um, some cybersecurity online stuff. Um, you know, just to kind of, you know, keep sharp and maybe try and learn some new stuff before um, next semester starts, but... You know, it's nothing, it's a, it's all personal study. It's not stuff I have to, ooh, I've got to get X done in this day. And No sign of a Kame. wonder where she went. You guys are going to notice something really interesting once the dialogue Whoa, starts. Hey there. Did you sleep well, Joryu? There it is. Thanks. I was gonna wake you earlier, but you were sleeping like a baby. <laughs> and to think you made all that fuss about losing round and such. Do you want an apology? <laughs> nah, you're good. Actually, I happen to be totally swamped today. You mind waiting a little longer before we get going? Look, I meant it when I said I can't waste time. Give me the location and I'll go myself. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. You need me with you. It's not the kind of place you can just waltz into. Not so. <laughs> All right. If you're gonna be that way, then I got an offer for you. How about helping me out? You got that red tiger, so you must be pretty tough, right? The quicker I finish up here, the sooner we get to the venue. You say venue as if that means anything to me. What exactly am I walking into? <laughs> Fair enough. It's a top secret playground for society's bigwigs. They call it the castle. The castle? If you tried looking for it yourself, no way you'd find it in. You gotta be chosen. Come on, to fighting arena. Or blessed with a red tiger, for example. So this is where big shots come to play. Is Hanawa here? Can't tell what Su uh, Sudorino's game is yet. So how about it, Joryu? You gonna help me out? You do seem in a mighty rush to get to that castle. Not like I have a choice. Fine. If that's what it takes, let's get it over with. Sweet! I knew you'd come around. Then let's get started. Okay, so I'd heard bits and pieces of, um... So, oh, I told you never mind. It's a cutscene. ...via the homeless folks out here in Sotenbori, right? Yeah. Well, they've been asking for my help recently. Seems homeless people around here have been disappearing, one by one. Apparently, they're being taken by welfare thieves. Welfare thieves? Yeah, scum who round up vulnerable folks just to extort them for welfare checks. Let me tell you how it works. First, they promise you a place to live, rent-free, plus three square meals a day. But really, they cram a bunch of people into tiny little rooms, basically cages. Then they force them to sign up for welfare and steal any money that comes in. Their prime targets are the newly homeless, because they're still clueless. So, they prey on the helpless. Exactly. They snatch everything, bank books and all. By then, there's no escaping. The living conditions are filthy as all hell, too. These thieves treat them like livestock. And? 
What do you want me to do about it? Isn't it obvious? You gotta run those guys out of town and rescue the victims. It's the right thing to do, ain't it? Wait a minute. There's a chance these guys are working for the Yakuza. Most Yakuza families in Sotombori are backed by the Omi Alliance. Are you prepared to stand against the Omi? Hell yes! If it's our own local Yakuza behind this, they're bringing shame to all of Kansai. I want to see you kick them to the curb and run them out of Sotenbori. <laughs> At least you've got conviction. So, how many welfare thieves are there? Are we the only ones on the job? Huh? Oh, you're fighting them all on your own, Joryu. Violence isn't for me. I just help the victims. Wait, what? Oh, I see how it is. This was your plan from the very start, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> don't throw a fit. They say the righteous won't turn a blind eye to injustice, right? Besides, if you can't handle this, you definitely can't handle the castle. If you say so. Now tell me where to find those welfare thieves. It's time I introduce them to my fists. Hell yeah! Now you're earning that red tiger. Too bad I don't know their specific location. <laughs> I've heard they tend to pop up on the riverside near Sotenbori Bridge pretty often. Okay, so... I don't know. I hope I'm not really quiet. I'm looking over at my at my software and it just... It, I don't know. My levels look low, but I don't think they are. I haven't changed anything. As of lately, it sounded fine to me, but... If it's uh, if the audio if the mic audio is bad on this one, I'll you know I'll adjust. Um, I'll adjust in the next one. So I was about to say before that conversation, uh, yes, English dialogue has been added in a new update. Um, I haven't really heard much of it before that conversation. I mean, like I'd heard bits of it, like bits of Kiri's voice while I was doing some side activities, but other people. Like, the, the passers-by aren't translated to English. They're still in the Japanese. So, it, it sounds like it's a pretty, um... I don't want to say a slapshot job for the English translation, but it's it, but you can tell it was clearly added in post. Um... Oh, I thought that was... I thought, I, I, I thought that was, um... Oh, my God. Uh, Arakawa. There we go. It's a waste of time. But yeah, hearing the voices, it's not an all. It's not the worst dub I've ever heard. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, to be fair, I'm not a. I have a high tolerance for dubs because I have heard some really shitty ones. And I just generally, you know, if you watch the channel long enough, you know that I I always prefer. English dubs, just because I don't have to read. I can actually focus on the game and the or the animation or whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, whatever uh, my point is, uh, tell me in the comments. I'll wait a little bit before recording the next one, but if you want me to change back to the Japanese voice acting, I will change back to the Japanese voice acting. I don't really have an opinion on this one. Mostly because I, I think it's Kiryu's voice. I don't know. I think he loses some of the mystique with this voice actor. I and maybe it's, I don't think it's the same guy for the little bit that we heard him in Yakuza 7. Because the bits in Yakuza 7 worked. I thought his voice acting was was pretty solid. Uh, 
But I generally like the voice. I, I really like the English dub in um, Like a Dragon. I, I thought Yuxa Like a Dragon's dub was really good. And yes, I know I said its name three different ways, but Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon, or Yakuza Like a Dragon, whatever. It gets, it gets really weird when you have, like, this game, which is a Yakuza game, but it's not called Yakuza. It's called Like a Dragon, which is the direct translation of the franchise name in Japan. And then you have Yakuza 7, which is Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is kind of like it's like a dragon, like a dragon. It, it, it just gets really weird. Yeah, whatever. The Yakuza 7, I thought, was was a pretty good pretty good dub and when we play infinite wealth I'm gonna play it um, I'm gonna keep it dubbed as long as they have the as long as they had the dub oh okay never mind I thought I thought I got stopped because I was at the location we gonna fight or oh, okay there we go it's like what's going on so what do you say mister how about bedding down in a warm house four walls and a roof over your head you know stray mutt you're a human being. You can't sleep out in the cold like this. You can trust me, pal. If you don't believe me, then come see for yourself. That's very nice of you, but I'm fine here, really. I'm saying this for your sake, you know. And you won't be lonely. There are plenty of others. It's just, when something seems too good to be true, it usually is. Smart man. Look at me now. If I could go back and do things all over, I would. Damn it! Give it a rest! You keep spewing the same shit! Said, come with me! Fuck's your deal, man! So, you must be the welfare thieves. You guys just do this out in the open, huh? And what if we are, asshole? Where do all the people you help end up? It's time you release them. Fuck are you supposed to be? Some kind of hero? So what if I am? We're Omi men. Bow that head of yours, and I might just consider letting you pay us off. Or you're gonna regret ever. I don't see anyone here worth bowing to. So, tell me, what will I regret? You wanna fight, old man? Great. We'll dump your corpse in the river. Yeah, I don't know. I'm le I might just swap it back to the Japanese. Because I... It's Kiryu's voice. He's not... Awful. It just it just not right for the character. The like Kiryu needs to be not mysterious, more stoic. This guy is kind of just emotionless. You know, Kiryu is that very you know, he's that very deep kind of uh always spoke more with his fist than with his words. Even though he's been a little more expressive this game and I kinda like it. Seems the Omi have really let themselves go. He almost seems too young. Nothing. That's as low as you can get. Keep your big ass nose out of our business. Is that it? Where are you keeping them? It'd be easier I, to tell that. you still have all your teeth. Okay. Go to Dao Kaikon! It's Shofukucho! It's on the second floor! Really? That was all it took? Was him threatening to punch you? Now, you deserve some rest. And he, and he need you. I'm pretty sure that had to hurt more. Thanks, you saved me. No problem. Those men said they were Omi, right? Are you going to be okay? It's fine. I won't be in the city for long. What about you? Huh? If you don't have anyone to rely on, have you heard about Akame? She looks out for the homeless in this area. Uh, no. I'm new to these parts. Ask around, and you should be able to find her, assuming you're interested. Akame, you say? Yeah. Take care, all right? Yeah, he just sounds too young to... I don't know, Kiryu's got a very specific vibe. He's not stoic, but he's not... He's not stoic, but he's not super expressive. He's caring, but still hard he's aggressive but not overtly he, he's he's a mass of contradictions it, it's 
he's just such a neat character. You know, I mean, like, I'm naming all these things. I mean, this is what makes Kiryu so fun as a character. I see. And it, I, I think it just makes him a very hard person to voice act. The key. And yeah, the uh, the English ones is not doing it for me. And with him being the main protagonist, I think that's the biggest, you know, that's the biggest hurdle. Oh no, I lose attack. Oh, never want to lose attack. I keep forgetting. I'm, I'm going to upgrade my abilities eventually, but once we start making money. one has a has a demo or whatever for infinite wealth now that I think about it I still wanna I gotta play that ah I missed pain in the neck I saw a, uh, saw a video on YouTube uh, earlier today that kind of caught me off guard. I, because I didn't really realize it until now. I mean, I'd seen, uh, let's see here, uh, Yotsudera, Kaikan, those welfare thieves that keep the homeless here. I, 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 I haven't paid too much attention to what all won what at the Game Awards this year. Um, again, I, I know, I've been busy, leave me alone. But I didn't think Starfield would win nothing. I figured it would probably get something. I knew it sure as hell wasn't going to win Game of the Year, but I don't know. I, 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 and I can't even tell you what category I thought it would win. Hey, just stroll in here. Authorized personnel only. You sleepwalking, Gramps? But I think it's essentially because I don't think that game does anything particularly um, is that what above. Is for? The hell? Yo, we got a lunatic out here. Above and beyond. That's what I'm trying to get up. Don't know where you blew in from, buddy, but the exit's that way. This room's locked from the outside. Is that because you've got people caged up in there? Man, this guy's a pain. Spare us the lecture, dumbass. You trying to get your face rearranged? Yeah, try it. Uh, yeah, you know, just hey, the hell are you just doing? casually ripping off a padlock. Damn, even the air is foul. Well, yeah, they're probably shitting in there. There's a bucket. Bastard! Think you can just do whatever the hell you want? Get ready for a I mean, I just did it. I mean, you just saw me literally... I, it wasn't even just a padlock. I ripped the the mechanism to attach a lock to the door. Like, that's fucking terrifying. Uh, but yeah, finishing my, what I was saying about the Game Awards, I wasn't really paying attention, and like I said, I figured Starfield would win something. I mean, it's the new Beth big Bethesda RPG, even though people are kind of having a very lukewarm take on it. Hell, even I have a bit of a lukewarm take on it. I think it's fine. Who the fuck are you? And even good. I enjoy it. It's not what I think we all wanted. But, <laughs> but the video that I saw... It was, um, she's just kicking him now. It was that moment that Todd Howard realized Starfield would not win anything at the Game Awards. And, oh, yeah. poor Todd Howard. Get away with this. You know what family you're screwing with? 
They owe me a lion's. So watch it. The very dregs of it, aren't you? Seems the Omi have fallen on hard times. Why else would you pull a scam like this? The fuck? So what if your Omi thugs? Gonna go cry to your boss? I'd be too ashamed to admit my family got their asses kicked by one man. Even if you are small time, you've disgraced the reputation of the Omi Alliance. Kick up a fuss, and you'll be the one looking stupid. Who the hell are you? Release all those people, and I just might forget what happened here. Damn it, I was really hoping you'd say something I'm cliche so like, I'm a man with no name. <sighs> Damn it. Wow. Amazing, Joryu. You're the best. Akame, surprised you found the place. I figured you'd handle things pretty quickly. Plus, I could hear all the hollering from outside. Oh, I figured it was your uh, security system set up. Really? You make your living preying on the homeless and you don't even recognize me? Figures. Of course you haven't done your homework. Shut it, lady! We've been helping the homeless, giving them beds and food and shit. The hell's wrong with that? Huh? Everything's wrong here, duh. You're really sugarcoating it, you little cockroach. I mean, you locked them in rooms. You don't even let them out for air. If it's so great, maybe y'all should try it. <sighs> yeah, there's a nice bucket. Quite the lecture from someone who made me do all the work. You know, can we all take a moment to appreciate how badass Kiryu is with a pink tie? I I, I, I know it's juvenile and everything, but I do think it it, it takes uh it, it it takes a lot for a man to rock a rock rock a soft kind of like pink color tie. And I think it works for him. Like, I, I had a... It, it took me a while to really kind of love the color combination, but I had, a, like, a light red um, undershirt for a, for a nice gray suit I had. Um, you know, gray suit jacket, gray suit pants, um, light red shirt with a, a pinkish tie. Was not... Because usually I'm, a, like, a black on black on black, you know, full um, Johnny Cash thing. But, I, you know, I... I really liked, uh, I, you know, but, but once I kind of kind of got over myself a little bit and I started kind of breaking out those colors, I was like, you know what? I, li I really like the look of this. I don't know, it was a really weird, uh, weird tangent to go into, but that's what his tie made me think of. I'm also still mad that my, um, my, my tuba professor back in college, when I went in for a, we called them juries. They're like little playing tests at the end of the semester. We go in, we play scales some solos, some etude excerpt sort of thing. So it's one of those. It's like a, a for our main instrument professor and two others, hence jury, whatever. But uh, I went in because, you know, we're supposed to dress up. And if I'm going to dress up, I'm going to wear a suit, you know. Why, you know, if I'm going to wear a shirt and tie, I might as well throw a jacket on. Boom, done, suit. Um, <laughs> well, I walk in, white shirt, black jacket, black tie. And he called me a fucking limo driver. I'm still mad about it. Now cough up their stuff. Bank books, IDs, papers, hand them over. Unless you want another taste of this guy's fists. Right, Joryu? Yeah. <laughs> you heard the lady. Really? I'd be mad that she's treating me like a dog. <laughs> Seriously, though, Joryu, you're super tough. Yeah, no Thanks shit. You, a ton of innocent people were saved. If only that were true. Hmm? What you mean? Don't act like you planned all this out of the kindness of your heart. You just want to use the homeless for your own ends instead, don't you? <laughs> no way. I'm not like that. I'm going to make sure they get some actual support. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. You seem to be misunderstanding me, so let me lay it all out for you. Ain't no way in hell I'd ever take advantage of people like those welfare stealing blood. See, I don't think her voice matches her either. Homeless people of this city, you know. I ain't a backstabber. I actually got scruples. And a big part of why I started doing this kind of work was because I wanted to return the favor. This city and the people who welcomed me in. I just want to help them out. Honestly, it's thanks to their efforts that I can earn a decent living. No denying that. You said you owe them. What exactly do you mean? 
Don't feel like telling you. Maybe later, if I get to know you better. That's so. Seems like the lack of trust is mutual then. I'll ask all the homeless people we saved today to join my network. That way, I can strengthen my intel and better protect them from thugs like this. It's a win-win situation, get me? So, this is how you managed to obtain the info you sell. Yep, and today was an especially good haul. Couldn't have done it without you, Joryu. Now I'll keep my end of the bargain and take you to the castle. <laughs> Finally. Oh, but one more thing before I do. Of course. Mm. Well, Jory, seeing as how you're so tough and all, I got a favor to ask. Would you maybe help out again in the future? You want my help? Well, being a jack of all trades, I never turn down a job. But everyone's got strengths and weaknesses, you know? I mean, you can take out guys with one punch. But one I've punch! Been a times and get nowhere. It's just not efficient. Of course, you'd only go up against scum like those thieves. It's practically charity work. Mm. Once I finish what I came here for, I'm leaving Sotombori. Oh, really? But <laughs> I don't mind helping out while I'm still here. Wow! Seriously? You're the best! Well, no point in beating around the bush. Can you help me with some other stuff before we head to the castle? Hey, what are you trying to pull here? I know, I know, you're busy, right? But I got things to take care of, so we can't leave till tonight anyway. And we've still got some time till then, so how about earning some money with me? Sound good? <sighs> so long as it's only until tonight. Wow, awesome, thank you so much. All right, let me educate you on the job. This might be a little long-winded, but you better not yeah. fall asleep. Try to keep it short. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Anyway, you know how I work as a jack-of-all-trades and as an info broker. I'd like your help with what I call strolling patrol missions. Strolling patrol? Yep. To be honest, I'm a little worried about entrusting such a big job to a newbie like you. So, first off, I want you to start by offering your assistance to any town folks in need. If you do a good job, it'll really boost my information network. Hmm. Is all this supposed to be to strengthen your network? Same logic as the homeless folks we rescued before. We ask around, or we ask anyone we helped out to contribute to the Akame network. A first-rate information... Uh, it, God damn it, I cannot read. A first-rate informant has got to have enough eyes everywhere to ensure you don't yeah. miss a thing. I see. So the more people you can convince to participate, the more you level up as an information okay. broker. You got it. We level up our reputation, expands, and eventually we'll start getting some pretty big-time requests for work. And one of those important kind of tasks comes up in the future, I'll reach out directly yeah. to you. Guess Got it. So. To start, I want you to help uh, me out with a job till the Akame network reaches level 3. Thanks to my information web, most of the people who need help should Thanks be clearly so marked. Just take a peek at your support map and you'll see right there. Now head on out and start cracking. Overbearing as always, aren't you? As you increase your Akame, as uh, your network level, Akame's information network spreads. Special events with Akame may also appear. The names of Akame points... So, blah, blah, blah. Earned Akame points, upgrade abilities, or exchange for items in the Akame shop. Based on so, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in the city, people are near the Akame, Akame points, support map, uh, support map shows people currently, yada, yada, yada. So I'm not sure if these are gonna if we're gonna count these as like the side stories or not. Any chance? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know what these are. So these are like the um. Okay, okay. 
I'll stop saying okay, okay. Uh, these are kind of like the, um... Oh. I'm trying to remember what they were called in Yakuza 7. And they're, these are essentially those hero missions, you know, that you... You know, these aren't the, uh... <laughs> I love that finisher. Yeah, these aren't the, um... Aren't si uh, sub-stories. These are... Even less... Uh, these have even less meat than that. They're just worth the Kame points and money, essentially. Here you go, small child. I do not have a stamina light. I need to hit up the convenience store. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm looking at the time here, we're... About 30, uh, 30 minutes in. I hate to leave you at another like 30 minute video for this series, especially when I've been so uh, inconsistent with it. But I wanna, I don't wanna get too far in with the current voice setup. Just in the event somebody doesn't, uh, you know, that a good number of you prefer the the Japanese voices. So frankly, what I'm thinking I might do, I might just run around and try and complete a whole bunch of these. Yeah, I'm probably going to run around and just complete a whole bunch of these. I don't think they're super interesting. When I say I'm going to just run around and complete a whole bunch of these, I literally think I might just run around and complete all of them. But, uh, like I said, I'm not going to make you sit and watch me do all that. So, uh, hit me up in the comments uh, before the next video. Aw, that's weird. Okay. So, like I said, uh, hit me up in the comments before the next video if you want to see me keep with the English uh, voice acting or go back to the Japanese. Frankly, I'm fine with it either way. It does not bother me, so do not hesitate to give me your opinion. And, um... Uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to run around and complete all these missions, because why the hell not? And uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll make sure to include it at the beginning of the next video. So, thanks for watching. Social media in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. I'm out. Looks like I'm up. Now, lend me your ears.
tell me just how far I have to go to have you and your angel smile all to myself. After who knows how many nights, so many tears and colorful lights. Can you tell me just why? Why is my heart still so aglow? Swallowed by pain while the world dances in the rain. I can only pray this crowd hides all these tears at fall. Never endured such hopelessness, can't escape this loneliness. Swallowed by that bitter sound, jingle bells. I can still see you standing there, blowing out that little flame. A dream I chased so long, gone up in smoke. Broken apart and all alone, buried deep in piles of snow. Nothing but I see cold regret. Sayonara, silent night You drift away, sleeping in arms that are mine Warm and dry, so safe and so happy Sayonara, holy night I'll go to bed, this loser, this lonely lump of coal Just the sad sack Santa Claus And on this eve, tell me please Will my words ring above? Sayonara evermore, silent love. Silent love. Still got it. You could find a word. I sing for you. I have been a fool, and you've been tired. You fell down. You got her chasing sweeter dreams Never could Hide the truth in your eyes That's how I knew That smile was a lie I love you is Something you never say Couldn't get it out Always just pulled away so then why, please won't you tell me why You could find the words to say goodbye I'm such a mess, I'm lost, I'm no good at this I am in love, still in love, still in love with you Hard as I try can't even drink this pain away Memories of you To esteem my view I've been a fool Still got it.
Looks like I'm up. We're gonna rock the mic. You won't see me come to debase you. A true-hearted samurai is here now to grace you! Do I stay at home and stand against the flow? Or sell my soul in places I don't know? The evening comes to spirit me away. Love is what I cherish in the day. A man gets drunk and merrily he sings Of every vice and every simple thing Does he not bring his own death knell And pay the lonely road to hell? How many men again pretend it never ends Lust is just the way that humans stand So, man, if he won't treat you right Toss his ass out in the street tonight While the wine may taste of fine I'll be staying dry For I would rather die Than live another life And don't mistake me, I bend But you will never break me My flaws are undenied So I keep my head up I will never let up I am a true-hearted samurai It was all right.